You feel a sharp pain and then look down. All of a sudden on your arm, you see a red mark. Could this bite be dangerous or is it totally safe? That's the question many people ask when they're bitten by a bug. Watch this and say goodbye to mysterious red marks on your body. With this information, you'll be able to spot exactly what bug has bitten you and if it's dangerous or safe. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at 10 bug bites you need to be able to identify. But before we get bitten too much, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Hornet. Hornets are also known as the Asian Wasp, but they can be found in Europe, Russia, North America and Northeast Asia. Many people swat these away thinking that they're wasps or bees, but actually they're far more dangerous. In fact, every year 1,100 people pass away due to hornet stings. They can be very dangerous and must be treated immediately, especially if it's on a child. But how can you identify a hornet sting? Well, the area around where you've been stung will become very swollen and red. This will cover a large area around where you've been stung. You may even get blisters forming on your skin where you've been stung. The person who's been stung will also likely be in very bad pain. It will be far more extreme and painful than a wasp or bee sting. Hornets can sometimes be double the size of a wasp or bee. And because of this, hornets can store a lot of poison inside them. When you're stung, that poison goes into your body. The poison contains two very harmful elements, acetylcholine and histamine. Histamine can cause extreme itching. It also can affect your brain, spinal cord, and uterus. That's why if you've been stung and feel cold in the limbs, then this could have been a hornet. Also, if your ears and lips go blue, this is another bad sign. You may also have breathing problems if you're stung by a hornet. And if this happens, make sure you see a doctor right away. Next up is bed bug. I'm sure some of you are watching this in bed. Well, if so, then you need to be very cautious of bed bugs. The real name for bed bugs is Simicosis, but they're called bed bugs because they're often found in mattresses. They feed on human's blood, usually when you're asleep. But most people who are bitten by bed bugs don't even know they have bed bugs. That's because at first sight, a bed bug bite can look like the bite of a flea or mosquito. Some also mistake them for allergic reactions. Your skin will get red, swollen, and also become quite itchy. But there's a way to tell if you're being bitten by bed bugs. The bites will all be very close to each other, and they'll kind of look like little roads on the skin. This meaning that they'll kind of be in a rectangular or curved shape and go down or up. Bed bug bites can be very painful, much more than a mosquito bite. If you think you have bed bugs, the best bet is to clean your bed with a vacuum. And if that doesn't work, maybe call a bug removal expert. Next up is Clegg. You may not have heard of a Clegg before, but it's basically a big fat fly. Cleggs are also known as horse flies. The nasty thing about a horse fly is it can bite humans and it feeds on their blood. They're kind of like the vampires of the insect world. Unlike a house fly, these are brown instead of black. But what do these bites look like? They're actually very easy to spot because at first it will be a one millimeter red spot. You may not even notice it at first, but eventually it will begin to get very swollen and itchy. It can then be very, very painful, much more painful than a mosquito bite. Now the bites themselves aren't that dangerous. After all, they're only drinking a tiny amount of your blood. But Clegg's can transmit various different diseases. One of these is called tularemia. This can affect your eyes, lymph nodes, and lungs. And it can also transmit anthrax. This can cause pain while swallowing and terrible nausea. So if you get a Clegg bite, you may want to go to the doctor. Next up is Tick. Tick bites are very, very hard to spot because many assume it's an allergic reaction, not a bite. The weird thing about ticks is they actually go into your body. Over time, they grow bigger and bigger and they drink your blood. In fact, ticks can live in a human body for a long time. Also, ticks can infect people with various diseases. So what does a tick's bite look like? Well, it's basically a large red mark and it sometimes has a ring around that mark. If you're able to remove a tick from your body but the red mark doesn't go away and continues to grow, you need to see a doctor right away. That's because you could have been infected with Entephalysis or Borreliolis. Next up is Laos. Everyone knows about head lice, but did you know that they can also bite you? Laos bites are small red dots which appear in places where your hair grows. 
These can appear on your back, belly, hands, or legs. The bites are usually a few inches away from each other and the skin looks like it was pierced, maybe with a nail or a pin. Now, you may think that these are pretty harmless, but they are not. Lice can transmit very serious diseases like typhoid and trench fever. Next up is flea. Many people mistake flea bites for allergies, but the way to spot them is that they will be red and swollen. You'll be able to tell this is not a mosquito bite or an allergic reaction, as it will be very painful. Also, it will itch a lot. Fleas usually go for a person's legs, and it happens when they're asleep. Also, fleas can bite you many times in similar places. The bites are usually around one inch away from each other. And also, fleas can transmit infections onto you, so maybe see a doctor if you have a lot of flea bites. Next up is ant. So, ants are very annoying. In the summer, they may ruin your picnics or go into your pantries. But did you know that ants can also bite you? And I don't just mean red ants in Indiana Jones, I mean typical black ants. An ant bite will look like a very small red dot. It may be totally painless and it may not even itch. On the other hand, red fire ants can cause you a lot of trouble and be a real danger. These bites can look like large white head pimples. Also, red fire ants contain a lot of toxins which can put you into a shock. So, make sure you know the difference between a regular ant bite and a red fire ant bite. Next up is Mosquito. Depending on where you live, I'm sure that in the summer you encounter mosquitoes. They're incredibly annoying and love to bite humans. Mosquito bites will be red and swollen. They mostly appear in open areas of your body where you're not wearing clothes. Also, it will happen where your skin is very thin, as it's trying to get to your blood vessels. When they bite you, they also inject their saliva into the wound. This saliva causes your blood to get thinner, which makes the skin red and itchy. Better get that mosquito spray out this summer. Next up is bee. One thing many people don't realize about bee stings is that you need to remove the sting. Unlike a wasp, bees actually lose their stinger when it goes into you. Right after that, the bee passes away instantly. Once the sting has been removed from your skin, it will likely get red and swollen. If you're not allergic, then you should be fine, but if you are, then you could have breathing problems and should see a doctor. And finally on the list, we have wasp. Wasps are like a bee sting, but you won't usually need to remove the sting from your skin. The stung area will become red and also swollen. Later on, you also may feel a burning and itchy sensation. Unlike a bee sting, wasps can sting you multiple times. But unless you're allergic, you should be okay after a wasp sting. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner how many of these insects you've been stung by. If it's all 10, then I feel really bad for you. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thank you for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.